What is up guys? In this video, we're going to look at 10 firefighting aircrafts that you've never seen before. We hope we learned something new today. The first one is the Boeing 747 Super Tanker. The 747 is one of the most iconic giant aircrafts in this era, but this one is exclusively made just to fight fire. This airplane is the biggest firefighting aircraft ever made because you could fit 74,000 liters of water in it. And as you know, each liter weighs one kilogram. So it weighs 74 tons and it lifts off in the air. This airplane dumps all the water in a click of a button and it dumps out 74,000 liters of water in about eight seconds. Number two, Boeing CH-47 Chinook. This one is a helicopter that likes to fight fire. It has a water pump on board. The helicopter loads itself to a body of water like a river and picks up 13,000 liters of water. And with this much weight, it can move at a speed of 185 kilometers an hour. Number three, Antonov AN-32. This is another firefighting aircraft, but unlike the 747, it's very small. Up next, we got the DC-10 air tanker. This is another airplane that's designed to fight fire in the forest. The red stuff you're seeing that's being dumped out of the airplane is called fire retardant. This type of powder basically destroys the oxygen in that area. And when there is no oxygen, the fire goes out. It's pretty much the same stuff you find in your fire extinguisher. If you want to use the fire retardant, it's going to be more expensive and it takes a longer time to fill up. So water is the easier route. Up next, we got the S64 Sky Crane. This is not really a firefighting aircraft but it does help firefighters in an area where there's a forest fire. It could take bodies of water there. It could take equipment, generators, or other things that firefighters might need in that area.
The next aircraft is the Air Tractor AT802. Do you know why it's called the Air Tractor? It's because it's meant for farms and it sprays pesticides. But when there is a fire, it could be used as a firefighting machine. You could put fire retardant or water inside the tank and dump it over the fire. Up next, we have the Martin 107 Mars. This one is like a giant boat, but it has wings and it can fly. Unlike the other airplanes we showed you that you have to fill it up when they land, this thing can land in a river or a body of water, fill itself up and lift off and go fight fire. The size of the tank in this thing is 27,000 liters. Up next, we got the Biryev BE-200. If you didn't know, the country that has the most forests in the world is Russia. And that is why aircrafts like these are extremely important for a place like this, because a forest fire is completely normal throughout the year. And this BE-200 lands in a body of water, picks up the water, and dumps it over the fire. You could fit 12,000 liters of water in this aircraft. Number 9, Lockheed C-130. Everybody knows the C-130 because it's one of the most famous aircrafts that the military uses to move cargo. But other than cargo, it could be used as a firefighting machine. The US uses retired C-130s for firefighting aircrafts. They basically take the cargo space and make it a water tank. And after that, they could fill it up and go dump it over a fire. Number 10, De Havilland DHC-515. This is a special aircraft made by Boeing just for Canada, and it's only made to fight fires. As you know, Canada has a lot of forests, so in the summertime, the chances of a forest fire is extremely high. By the time this thing lands, fills up, and lifts off again, it only takes six minutes. So if there is a forest fire next to a river or a body of water, this thing can help put it out very quickly.